there might come a time where you want to hide a widget during runtime and then re-show it again uh, during runtime as well. So here's an example. So I have button one, two, and three. Pay close attention to button two. This is the button that I'm going to hide and then re-show again. So I have a hide button here and I have a show button here. So I'm gonna click on hide and button two should disappear. Watch this. Yeah, so button two disappeared. And when I click on show, it reappears again. And I'm gonna show you this with both the pack geometry manager as well as grid. Hi, my name is Jobin and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome. Okay, so I'll show you what I have in the code so far. I've removed the code for the hide and show buttons so that I can type them and show you what the, the, the code does as I type it. So here I have three TTK buttons. It's a very simple setup. You know, I have three buttons. The text is set to button one, button two, button three. And then here I'm packing them on the screen by putting them inside this frame. So these three buttons are being put inside this frame here and then I'm, I'm packing the frame that contains the buttons. And here, this is the hide button. And this is the show button. And the hide button runs this method. And the show button runs this method. So I don't have any code here in the hide and show buttons now. So that means if I run it, I have button one, button two, button three. If I click on hide, nothing happens. If I click on show, nothing happens. Okay, so how do we cause button two to disappear by clicking hide? And how do we make it reshow where it was before by clicking on show? Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to determine whether the button is actually visible or not. So watch this. I can run self.button2, and remember, it's only button two that I'm concerned about. I'm not gonna do anything with button one or button three. I'm only going to focus on button two for, for this whole demonstration, for this entire tutorial. Okay, so self.button2.winfo viewable. Watch this. And it's a method, and that's why I have this here, because I'm, I'm actually running this method. So I'm gonna print this. So when I click on the hide button, it's gonna run this method and it's going to print it into uh on the console down here so let's let's just see what this gives us so it gives us one so what this is doing is it's checking to see if button two is currently visible on the screen or not it'll return one if it's visible it'll return zero if it's not visible okay so we know that button two is visible because it gave us one and obviously because we can see it uh, on the on the window so knowing this what we could do is we can we can tell the we can tell it to hide the uh, the widget like the button two widget only if it's currently visible so I can say if self dot button two dot window dot winfo viewable so if it's if it's visible essentially then we're going to hide it but how do we hide it we use self dot button two dot pack underscore forget okay let's just try this and see if it works yep it works if i click on hide again nothing happens it's already hidden and this code is checking to see if it's visible or not and it's not so it's not actually rerunning pack forget over and over again. Okay, so that's how we remove a widget that's been displayed using the pack geometry manager. So how do we get it to re-show again? Okay, so in the show button, let's try this. So now we have to check to see, to make sure it's 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 hidden before we try to show it. So if self.btn2.winfo viewable, so here we say if not in winfo viewable so if it's not visible then proceed with the following code self.btn 
two dot pack. And here I have side equal TK dot left because when I was displaying it, I have side equal to TK dot left so that it'll show side by side rather than uh, in, a, in a vertical um, you know, position. So instead of being shown on top of each other, they're uh, side by side. Okay, so let's try this. So self.btn2.pack side equal tk.left. So let's hide it first. So button two is hidden, perfect. Let's click on show. Okay, so we're getting there. We're still not 100% there yet. I want button two to be in between these two buttons. I don't want it to appear at the end. So how do we do that? So what we have to do is in here, when we're repacking it, when, we're, when, we, when we click on the show button to, to pack that widget on the screen, check this out. Look at all the possible uh, parameters that we can use and arguments that we can pass. Like there's configure, there's after, there's anchor, there's before. So the two that we're really interested in, actually one of the two, is after and before. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use after. I'm going to write after equal self.btn1, and I'm going to still put in tk side equal tk dot left. Let's run this and see if it does what we want. Let's hide button two. Let's reshow it. And look at that. It's in between button one and button three. How did we actually do this? All right. So in here, we're, we're telling it to pack button two after button one. And that's it. So that's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Another thing we could do is we can say before button three. Let's see if that does the same thing. Oh, whoops, I put a typo there. Let's uh, redo that again. Hide, show. Yep, that gives us the exact same thing. So here we're telling it to, to show button three before or to pack button three or uh, to, to pack button two. There we go. Uh, before button three, so in the middle. So yeah, if you're if you're using pack underscore forget to hide the widget, you can pack it again, and then just put in before or after, and then the widget that you wanted to uh, to to be next to. So that's how you do it with the pack geometry manager. So how do we get it to hide if we're using the grid? geometry manager and have it show when we're using the grid geometry manager. All right, so I'll show you that as well. So first I'm going to delete this code. Let's just put pass in here for now. And we need to change this to grid. So instead of packing these three buttons, let's change it to grid. And we don't need side anymore because that's, uh, that's for pack. So here I'm going to put row equals zero, column equals zero. For button two, I'm going to put row equals zero again because it's going to be on the same row, but the next column over, so column one. And similarly, for the third button, row equals zero, column equal two. Okay, so so far so good. Let's just run that to make sure it actually works and it doesn't. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, button to grid. Oh, uh, I forgot to change this to grid. Okay, so button three grid and then, yeah, these three are all grid. Let's just run it again. Okay, it works. Okay, so we have the buttons next to each other again, just like we did before, just like we had them before. And we're using the grid geometry manager now. So it's time to put code in the hide button and the show button. So in the hide button, we're going to do the same thing as before. If self.button2.winfo viewable. So if button two is visible, then we want to hide it. So how do we hide it with grid? So self.grid underscore, whoops, button two dot grid underscore forget. 
And you might be thinking, well, that's pretty much the same thing as the pack manager. And, and yeah, you're right. But there's actually one difference that the grid geometry manager has that pack doesn't have. And I'll show you that after I show you this. Okay, so let's just make sure it hides it. So I'm basically just putting btn underscore two dot grid underscore forget. Let's just make sure this works. Okay, we have button two here. If I click on hide, it's it's uh, it's hidden. So perfect. So far, so good. It's now time to implement the show button, and we'll do the same kind of thing. So if not self load button two dot winfo viewable. So essentially, if the button is hidden, then self dot button two dot grid. And where do we want to put it again? Row equals zero, column equal one. Okay, so hide and show. Yep, works beautifully. So it's in the, in the middle, just like the way that we want it. So let's say if I don't specify the row or the column when I'm trying to grid it, what's going to happen? Let's hide it and then show it again, then it's just gonna reset it. It's it's not gonna put it where it was before. So remember how I said that the grid geometry manager has something that's a little bit different than the pack geometry manager? So, so watch this. You know how button two has grid forget, right? It also has something else. It has grid underscore remove. And, and watch this, I'm gonna run it. Hide, so button two is gone. Show, button two is back. And it's back exactly where I had it before, even though I'm not even specifying which row and which column. So why is that? The reason is grid remove remembers where the, uh, the, the row and the column of the button was. So that means if I try to reshow it again, I can just use btn underscore two dot grid without even specifying the row or the column. It knows where it was before because it's not forgetting. It's only removing. If I put grid underscore forget, then it's going to forget. And if I just try to grid it without specifying, then we saw what happened before. In a case like if we use grid underscore forget, we have to specify row equals zero, column one, because it doesn't remember. We told it to forget. And if we do that, then you know obviously it'll it'll work. But if we use grid underscore remove, then it's going to remember and we don't have to specify the row and the column. And if we run it, then it remembers where it was before. The thing is, pack doesn't have pack underscore remove. Uh, there's only pack underscore forget. So that's one uh, nice difference between uh, grid underscore remove or, or the grid geometry manager is that it has this. So this basically showed you how to hide and show widgets using both the pack geometry manager and the grid geometry manager. Showing and hiding widgets during runtime has various advantages. One is, for example, if you're creating a wizard window where you, when you click on next and it goes like to the next screen, and then you can have like next or back buttons, you can have it hide frames and show frames depending on what page that the user is on. So that's just one of the uses. Or like we saw in the example here, you can hide buttons uh, but it's in it reshow them, but it's not limited to just buttons. You can do that with uh, any widget that, that has a, a pack method and a grid method. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Until the next one, thanks for watching.